In this video, I'll show you how they're doing this. And it's a little bit different than, uh, uh, let me clear this here. It's a little bit different than what I remember seeing before. So you'd wanna start by clicking on here and choosing the sine curve, which starts at zero, zero. One period starts at zero, zero and ends at two pi. And so notice the amplitude for this one here is gonna be one because there's a one for A. Uh, in other words, in front of sine, there's a one. The period is two pi because there's no number in front of X here. The coefficient of X is one. There's no vertical shift. If we had like a plus four outside the sign here, uh, then we would have a vertical shift, but we don't, we don't have any reflections. And so the only thing we need to do Let's see, this is going to be a phase shift of pi over eight. And so what they're doing here is they're actually doing pi divided by eight on the calculator and writing it as a decimal. I don't know why we can't choose pi some, somewhere here. And so I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do pi, well, I'll we'll just do uh, two, 3.14 divided by 8, and I get 0 0.329, 0 0.329, no, it's 0.3925, and then I'll save that, check answer, and that's what they're doing. All right, so I hope that it helps. I'm sorry that was not at all what I would have expected, but that's how you do it.